welcome everyone this is a short video about uh, comparison of uh, price per square footage and the floor plan uh, of uh, two bedroom in uh, Bayview by address uh, in MR Beachfront by MR properties and a two bedroom in the Bay Harbor residences by HNH properties in the Bay Harbor so let's dive into the video so to start with I would say uh, let's uh, see the surrounding area uh, this is uh, an old aerial picture of the Bay Harbor, uh, but it shows uh, everything perfectly. So this is a Mar Beach front, and this is the start of the Bay Harbor. This is uh, Blue Waters and the Bay. This is the Bay Marina. This is uh, Palm Jumeirah, and this is the biggest cruise terminal in the Bay. So. Dubai Harbour Residences is going to be right here and uh, Bayview by address in MR Beachfront is going to be right here so now now that you've got the uh, idea uh, let's so this is a close-up version so this is again uh, this is the 27 towers in MR Beachfront uh, this side is facing the Palm Jumeirah and the sea so again this is the baby by address and these are the Dubai Harbour residences and now let's go to the exterior so this is MR Beachfront baby by address versus uh, Dubai Harbour residences I will uh, show a better picture of Dubai Harbour residences it's uh, designed by the same architect of one Zabil so it is going to be really really nice uh, so these are the three tower tower a b and c of the Bahab residences this is tower a and tower b and tower c they're low rise seven floors plus the rooftop continuing our video so let's start with the floor plans right away yes as this is what the video is about so as soon as you enter in mr uh, in the baby by address there is no powder room and you come into the kitchen and uh, living area now I don't want to discuss the floor plan I want to show you the sizes so if you pause the screen and zoom in just look at the living and uh, bedroom sizes so it's an open kitchen with a kitchen island decent size living and dining uh, this is the laundry room and this is bedroom number one with a size of uh, 3.5 times 3.3 .3 meters and this is uh, the first bathroom shared bathroom since there is no powder room and let's go to the size uh, master bedroom the size is uh, 3.6 by 3.95 meters it's actually quite decent compared to other MR layouts it has a walk-in uh, wardrobe and of course an attached bathroom so one bedroom is in suite the master bedroom also has a private balcony and the bigger balcony is connected to the living and dining area so this is uh, obviously just to show you uh, the size of and the floor plan of baby by address. Now let's go to uh, my favorite is the Bay Harbor Residences. So as soon as you enter, you will notice a powder room on the left. You will notice a powder room and right as soon as you enter, just look at the huge spacious living and dining area it can easily cater to an eight seater dining table with a you know large sofa and two seaters yeah and you have a semi-closed kitchen and as soon as you enter the kitchen there is a door leading to uh, a laundry and a storage area so this is storage and this is a large laundry area as well as a, a maid's room and a bathroom a maid's bathroom so you see this is uh, a great layout now coming to the bedrooms so the first bedroom we can uh, see is the size is 4.38 by 3.06 meter it's bigger than uh, Bayview by address and it has an attached bathroom uh, coming to the master bedroom the size is 4.53 times 3.45 meter again it's bigger than baby by address so it's, it's a perfect size actually for apartment mm -hmm. And of course, it has a uh, large master bathroom inside. Uh, now, both so 
So I want to start with the advantages. So the first advantage is that it has a porter room. Second advantage is that the kitchen is semi-closed with a large storage and laundry room and a maid's room. And the third advantage is both bedrooms are in suite. Now, uh, but the the best thing that I like about the uh, this layout is the large balcony. It's going to be huge. It's perfect for having a nice outdoor seating area uh, with friends and family, enjoying the views. And uh, although this is not the sea facing or the Palm Jumeirah facing, but this is. Uh, uh, Dubai Marina and Blue Waters Island facing. You can enjoy the vibe, the energy of the area, cruise lines coming in, um, and, and it's it's yes, it is going to be a tourist area, but it's the energy is going to be beautiful. And and remember, this is a private and exclusive building, low rise, so it won't be so uh, busy. And uh, w one one thing very important is that uh, both have private access beach exclusive access to residents only uh, so MR beachfront has its own and uh, this is it you can see this is directly on the beach and of course this is the Bahar residences again exclusive uh, resident uh, only accessible beach it's not open to the public um, and now let's come to the main part <coughs> let's go discuss about the numbers now I won't be discussing the ROI here because this is an end user product. Um, so let's uh, start with uh, Bayview by address. It's uh, unit number 1709. So it's on the 17th floor. Obviously it's a higher floor so it will have better view. The view is of the Dubai Marina and the Blue Waters. Uh, the price is 7.26 million. And uh, the built up area is 1,431. And the size uh, and the price per square footage is 5074 now its expected price is going to be 6,000 per square foot uh, or it can be more uh, depending on the view now let's come to on the right the Dubai Harbor residences so in this uh, we are looking at uh, unit number 505 it's a seven floor uh, building or tower so we are on the fifth floor so it's a low-rise floor and the price is a 7.7 million uh, with a built up uh, with a total size of 2134 square feet so uh, the price is in terms AD 7.7 million uh, and if you notice the price are very similar of both uh, it's an AD however the built up size is a l there's a lot of difference so the baby by uh, the baby by address is 1431 and the harbor residences are 2134 the main part is the price per square footage Dubai harbor residences is just 3615 I feel this is an amazing deal and if you ask me which where should you invest in Dubai for apartments right now I said this is going to be the best investment uh, it is exclusive it is private it is ultra luxury it's uh, owned by the royal family of Dubai and it's the construction quality will be uh, 10 times better than MR beachfront or, or uh, Bayview by address by MR uh, uh, the, the Nikken Sakai the same architect of one Zabil uh, which is a landmark in itself so and, and before I end this video I want to show you uh, this is uh, this is in the news. Uh, Shamal Holding, who is the parent company or the owner of HNH Properties, uh, HNH Properties are developing the Dubai Harbour residences, uh, and again, it's owned by the royal family of Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan bin uh, Mohammed bin Rashid. Now, you will notice they have announced they have an agreement with the RTA that they are creating a dedicated the bridge connecting Sheikh Zayed Road directly to Dubai Harbour and uh, it will reduce the travel time from 12 minutes to 3 minutes so you will avoid the crazy Dubai Marina traffic and uh, this shows the power of Shamal holding uh, obviously uh, Imar Beachfront will also benefit from this uh, bridge uh, but it is 
intended directly to go to Dubai Harbour. And just to uh, give you an idea, this is uh, on the left is uh, Imar Beachfront, right here. And uh, the bridge that is being constructed from Sheikh Zayed Road is going to come to this road right here. This is it. And uh, this is uh, Dubai Harbour Residences on the right, on the left. So both are both locations are great. Imar Beachfront is part of uh, Dubai Harbour, but since it's a separate master development, we keep it separate. So uh, that's it for this video. I intend it to be short. Sorry for the background noise. I'm in the mall right now, but I had to make this video because it's a great deal. It's one of the best deals in Dubai right now. Um, ultra luxury developer, ultra luxury location. Uh, everything is ultra luxury about this, private and exclusive. Uh, uh, so connect with me and I'll send you a higher uh, resolution floor plan and a brochure. Uh, so it's a no-brainer. The Harbour Residences wins over MR Beachfront. Uh, although I'm a very big fan of MR, I still would prefer the Dubai Harbour Residences as the price per square footage is just 3,600 per square foot. So it's around 1,000 US dollars. And I, and, and I expect this to easily reach around uh, 1,800 to 2,000 dollars per square footage in the future on handover. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Uh, my name is Asfar Naeem from Ultra Homes Real Estate. Let's make it happen.